Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today we're going to have our lesson number four in the series of ten videos on the topic of linear equations. Fourth one in the series of four. Today is our lesson number 151. So let's get going. Let's see, let's see what we have. We are being told that x over 4 plus x minus 3 over 5, we are told, equals 3. One more time, x over 4 plus x minus 3 over 5 equals 3. What I want you to do now is to, uh, what I want you to do now is to pause the video, do the problem yourself. Once you have the answer, then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together. Do do that at the. Uh, at the beginning of every single equation that I put in on, on the blackboard. So I'm going to give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video, okay? Alright. What we need to do here, what we need to do is to have, is, what we need to do here is to somehow get rid of these numbers that we see on the bottom. How can we get rid of this 4 and the 5? The least common multiplier, the smallest number that we can think of, the smallest number that we can think of, that is divisible both by 4 and 5, that is a multiple of both 4 and 5, is 20. So let's multiply, we're going to multiply this entire equation by 20. Multiply this, this term by 20, multiply this term by 20, make a, put a parenthesis around it so, it's, so it doesn't get confused. And since we are multiplying this side of the equation by 20, since we multiplied every term on this side of the equation by 20, we have to multiply that side of the equation by 20. That's it. And now, and now we can simply take our we can simply take our 20 that 20 that we inserted. We can use this 20. We can utilize this 20. Divide top and bottom by 4, and 20 becomes 5. Here, divide top and bottom by 5, and the 20 will become 4. That's it. No more no more denominators. So here we'll have 5 times x. 5 times x. That's just 5x plus 4 times x minus 3 equals 3 times 20 which is 60. That's it. Open the parentheses so we get 4x. 4 times negative 3 is going to be negative 12. And here we have 5x. And all of that, all of that equals 6x. 5x plus 4x is 9x plus 9x minus 12. 9x minus 12 equals 60. Add 12 to both sides. Add 12 to both sides of the equation. 12 is going to drop out and 9x equals, this 9x equals 60 plus 12 which is 72 and therefore x is equal to 72 divided by 9. I believe 8 9s are 72. 8 9s are 72 which makes sense because 8, 10 8s, 9 8s, 9 8s are 72 because 10 8s would, 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 have given, would have given us 80. 10 8s are 80, therefore if you were to take 1 8 away from 80, it is 72. Let's verify very quickly. It's always a good idea to verify your answer. Answer is answer that we are claiming. We are claiming, we are claiming that x equals 8. We need to verify that. Let's do it here. Always verify that it only takes a few seconds. So here we had x over 4, so that's 8 over 8 over 4. Plus, you see, x over 4 plus x minus 3 over 5. Our x is 8. So it's 8. 8 minus 3 over 5 and we are claiming that that has to equal they are claiming that has to equal 3. Let's see if it does. 8 over 8 over 4 is 2 and 8 minus 8 minus 5 8 minus 3 is 5 5 over 5 is 1. Oh there you go. There you go. 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 does not equal 2. 2 plus 1 equals 3. So it does work. Let's do one more shall we? Let's do one more. We are being told that x minus 2 over 3 plus x plus 4 over 6 we are told equals 4. One more time x minus 2 over 3 plus 
x plus 4 over 6 equals 4. Same thing as before, we want to get rid of this denominator from the bottom. It's very simple. If you want to get rid of the denominator from the bottom here, the least common multiplier of 3 and 6 is 6. We can divide 6 by 6 and we can divide 6 by 3. So multiply this term by 6, multiply this term by 6, and multiply this term by 6. Very simple, very straightforward. It's actually a simpler question before. And this 6 is just going to drop out. We are left with x plus 4 here. And here 3 is going to cancel out with 6 2 times. And we are going to have 2 times this quantity. So, so we are going to end up with 2 times x minus 2 plus x plus 4 equals 4 times 6, which is 24. Open the parentheses, we get 2x minus 4 plus x plus 4 equals 24. And now we have to collect the like terms. So we see 2x here, we see an x here, that's 3x. Oh, negative and positive is going to cancel out. Oh, that's it, we're done. 3x equals 24, that means x equals 8. Oh, again the answer is 8. Last one also was 8. Well, so let's verify, shall we? Let's verify. So we're going to we're going to substitute we're going to substitute this value of x that we're claiming. We're claiming that x equals 3. We're going to put it back in here. So we have x minus 2 over 3. That will be 8 minus 2. This is the verification. This is the verification. x minus 2, 8 minus 2 over 3, plus 8 plus 4 over 6. 8 plus 4 over 6, and that has to equal quantity that was given to us which was 4 which was 4 let's see if it does 8 minus 2 8 minus 2 is 6 6 divided by 3 is 2 6 divided by 3 is 2 so that's 2 8 plus 4 is 12 12 divided by 6 is 2 12 divided by 4 is 2 very good 2 plus 2 equals 4 it works 2 plus 2 equals 4 it's, it works I'll see you tomorrow okay bye now